in 05 there was maybe an element of, gee, we've had a really good season no matter what happens today. Whereas in 06 it was like, right, we've really got to make sure we win today. Otherwise this great, great list may not end up with a premiership. Um, so yeah, it probably felt like there was a, a little bit more pressure, but you know, I think this, the team had such a strong sense of self-belief and I think there was this this level of confidence there that, that we were going to be able to get the job done. You know, I guess you could say 05, 06, 07, we were really strong chances to, uh, to win flags. Um, and probably at that age, you, you don't quite appreciate just how hard it is to get in, into that sort of position. But uh, yeah, looking back, it was a, a very special time to be a part of. Dempster couldn't get it. Guess who could? He's unstoppable when he's going, Chris Judd. You know, to have Coxie sort of tapping the ball to you and even worried about the, the spin of it. To have, uh, you know, Curry and Kaz who could just turn, you know, turn games on their head in a, a five-minute patch of play. Embley running forward and being really dangerous. Then sort of Mickey Braun running behind him and covering his man, um, it really was a, you know, a, a team that, that would really stand up, uh, everyone in that team when they were required, but certainly that midfield group at the time was uh, a very special thing to be a part of. Who would have thought the sequel would be just as good as the original? The West Coast Eagles are the premiers for 2006. Yeah, I was just incredibly exhausted. That was my overriding emotion. Uh, exhaustion and relief. And everyone's sort of different. You know, you saw Coxie jumping around and uh, over the moon. I actually copped a bit of criticism for not being excited enough. But for me, it was just the culmination of such a, it felt like two years um, where we were really close to getting it done. And, and like I said, it just, uh, it meant so much to all of us that for me, it was just such an enormous amount of relief that we'd, we'd finally done it. It's such a unique shared experience. The pressure on young men is something that probably can only be understood completely by people who've been through it. So to, to have gone through that with those 21 other guys and to see the way you know, they, were, they were able to stand up under that pressure and deal with all sorts of thoughts that would have been going around inside their own minds, yeah, they will definitely about that bond because you're so appreciative of the fact that they were able to do that because that meant that you were able to be a premiership player. Number three, Captain Chris Jones. You know, it feels like a lifetime. It almost feels like, uh, it feels quite hard to recognise the person that was a part of it 10 years ago because everyone changes so much in, in that period of time. But um, it's not hard to remember just how special a, an achievement it was. To our players and uh, to the whole football club, um, you know, anyone who's got anything to do with the club, a little piece of this Premiership Cup's yours and I hope you enjoy it as much as we will. Thanks very much. It was almost like a bit of a security blanket that whatever happened in my career, from then on, I would have achieved my ambition uh, in AFL football. So it was the combination of a, a lifelong dream and uh, it just sort of was a great feeling of relief that no matter what happened, um, it could never be taken away.